Medical professionals on the Sun Coast are trying to offer more emergency first aid training. Active shooter situations have increased the need to teach people the necessary tools to keep others alive until emergency responders arrive. ABC 7's Adam Cellini spoke with emergency responders today and joins us live to explain how you can learn to save a life right here on the Sun Coast. Adam. Yes, Scott and Jacqueline, Sarasota County is the site of new and existing civilian first aid training courses, many of which came about because of these active shooter situations. Behind me is Sarasota County Fire Station 1. That's where we spoke with uh, the county's EMS chief earlier today, who says every civilian in his mind should be able to at least stop bleeding um, in their basic first aid knowledge. The first thing that I want to do is apply direct pressure to the wound. Carson Sanders has spent nearly 30 years saving lives, but every second it takes for him to get to a situation like the shooting in Las Vegas. Incrementally, percentage-wise, it goes down your ability to survive untreated. According to the Florida Department of Health, rapid loss of one liter of blood can be fatal for an adult. There's two things that, that really every citizen should know when it comes to first aid. The, the first of those is some sort of stop the bleed, what to do. While waiting for EMT, Sanders says civilians can assess the situation and help first by clearing the wound of obstruction, applying as much pressure as possible with a cloth or hand, and if necessary, tying a tourniquet two or three inches above that wound. Because even if it's not an active shooter, if you have a child and a child gets cut badly or has spurting blood, that's just as big of an emergency to that family as a mass shooting is for many, many people. Sarasota Memorial Hospital will soon offer classes on this through the Stop the Bleed campaign, which began after the Sandy Hook shooting. Years later, after the Boston bombing, the federal government came up with active bystander training, which Carol Jeffers now leads here in Sarasota County. If you take action, you can save a life. Through grants, Joffers and her team offer free group training for more than just active shooter situations. As you know, we just had a hurricane scenario and we're not done with hurricane season yet. This is an ongoing all year program, so all they need to do is reach out to us and we will get it set up with them. And these medical professionals recommend that everybody revamp their knowledge of CPR as well because it has changed. No longer are rescue breaths necessary. It's gone strictly to chest compressions. Uh, Chief Sanders recommends just singing your favorite song in your head and providing chest compressions the entire time or until help arrives. Uh, for more information on how to schedule some local group training courses, you can visit our website, mysuncoast.com. We'll have that information uh, posted with this story um, and plenty of links to go along with it. For now, live in Sarasota. Minnesota, I'm Adam Leaney. Uh, Scott and Jacqueline, back to you. All right. Thank you, Adam.